Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess HD. My name is Rabbit Luigi and in the last episode we finished up in the Forest Temple and picked up a first little bit of few shadow as you can see. You find me at the menu screen at the start of the game because simply put, I have bought something of great importance to us. I have succumbed to the illustrious allure, that's a, that's a phrase, of the amiibo, and I have bought a Ganondorf amiibo, and I'm just gonna place it down, it's gonna make it think, gotta press anything, look at the gamepad, you can use this amiibo on the collection screen, so not now, have I done it in an interesting place, we show, why was there an amiibo thing, so we'll just go in, or we'll just go in, there's a little amiibo, uh, button or something. So if we go to the collection screen, I'm I'm adding amiibos. The Ganondorf amiibo is hilarious in every single way, and we're gonna do this thing. Oh yeah, no, no, nobody can really see anything. Damage you take is already doubled. Do you want to double it again? The effect will last until you quit the game or until you lose all hearts. That will not take very long. We are going to quadruple the amount of damage we can take. Not sure if you could hear Gandalf in there, but we we now take lots of damage and we are now got blue hearts. That's kind of cool. I'm gonna meet you where I want to meet you. Not gonna lie, the prospect of taking four times damage is rather frightening in every single way. He has a 100 rupee oil bottle, which I didn't get last time I was here. I'm gonna get it right now because it means I get an extra bottle, which is quite useful. Absolutely, I have so much oil. I'm not sure if I need- yes, I've been there. Lots of lots of monsters. We kicked some ass in that episode. It was, it was a beautiful thing. I am- I'm concerned. Mildly concerned. We are gonna go this way because this is where our adventure will take us next. I am mildly concerned exactly how quickly this is gonna get out of hand with regards to damage, because half heart, which is the standard for every enemy in the game, is now two hearts. And that's, that, that, that's a notable difference to what it was on before. This has now stopped becoming Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess HD and become Legend of Zelda Dark, Dark Souls Tribute Edition, and I'm actually really okay with that, because I'm not going to say this is an easy game. Heroes mode makes it less easy, but it's not that easy of a game. I like super hard. Super hard makes me very interested, and I hope it will make it more of a uh, more jeopardy, more of a jeopardious. That's not a phrase. I don't know. We haven't got a horse, so in order to get where we need to go, have we got like a basic target? I know where we need to go. I've played this game before, but you can see Hyrule Castle in the distance. I can't walk while I'm. Yeah. Also, someone said I can control my my, my anything, my my view, my view with. Uh, aiming buttons with the left control stick. I have taken that knowledge into my uh, enjoyment of the rest of the game and hopefully we won't have to worry about fucking about with our view. I am very scared of taking damage. <laughs> I really am. Oh god, am I going the right way? I need, I need to go to Kakariko Village or Kakariko. I forget what I used to call it as a kid, but many years of hearing people say it different on the internet, I think has maybe changed how I say it, I'm not sure. Kakariko, Kakariko, oh god, enemies. So do they do quarter hearts? Is that why I didn't die? Just use a fin uh, finish thing which I didn't use enough. Oh, there are enemies everywhere now, this is, this is the worst thing. And it's not a very good way of introducing me to my new challenge. I am tempted. Uh, you can you can argue with me and tell me to do something else if you like, and I'm you know I'm open to different ideas and that sort of thing. I think do you have to go to Hyrule Castle first? I may just talk to Midna because you know I know roughly yeah just uh, Elden Province of the West, which is probably this way. I maybe I I um now I'm not entirely sure where we need to go next, but I do remember quite no that wasn't the thing I wanted to do. I do remember as a coming back here left 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 control stick works. We know this now. I could use right anyway, but you know there's a heart piece up here. We have a boomerang. We might as well get this now. We only need one more for a full heart container. Heart containers could be very useful. I'm pretty sure we just need to go straight on, but I may just check a walkthrough anyway because I'm a coward. Actually, you know what? We were told to go west. I'm gonna do what I was told to do. Oh, who is this? Oh, it's the postman. You do not look much better for being in HD, I must say. Go no further, there's a black warhead that blocks the way. I thought I would deliver a few letters, but it seems impossible. I'm the honorable and dependable letter carrier known to some as the postman. He is absolutely insane. Now that I've introduced myself, please take this letter and read it at your leisure. Leisure. No one even care. Uh, I know how to read letters. You can know that to read any letters received. Do it whenever you see fit. Well, my business is concluded. Oh, onward to mail! You will actually look very terrifying. Like, high definition is, is good and, you know, slightly improved textures are good, but you look terrifying. Where did I get health back from? 
Oh yeah, I've got a heart piece, that might explain it. Um, <laughs> I don't know, I just don't trust any moment where I get health back, because I shouldn't get health back. I should be made to uh, really, really hurt for my mistakes, which is what having quad damage means. That's, that's, the, that's the bed we've managed to make for ourselves here. This, I'm pretty sure, is where we need to be. Hey, it was much closer than I thought. Yeah, it's very close. Very big wall of twilight. You remember, right? You know what this is? Big scary wall of twilight. If you set foot in there, you might you might be a wolf again for quite some time. For at least as long as it takes for you to save the light of Elven from twilight anyway. So, shall we try and go see the light spirit of El El? So, shall we try to go see the light spirit of Elden? <laughs> yeah, we could do. What I've also heard, I'm, I'm gonna mention that I could have this set up for as long as we play this game. If everyone's okay with that, I may die a few times because it's quite ruthless, but you know, yes, I'm going into the twilight. I'm prepared, not really. I think also, being wolf, don't you take twice more damage? I mean, <laughs> that's a little insane. I, it's, does that apply? Like 1.5 more damage? Because then that means any attack will kill me outright, which is, which is kind of insane. Because, you know, quarter, quarter hearts, half hearts, times eight is a lot, is everything I have. It's all the things I have. That's absolutely terrifying. What is it? That's a good boy. Now you need to listen to what I say from now on. Ah, oh, look, how lovely. The black clouds of twilight are so fetching today. I feel so much more at ease here. And you look so much better like this than in those dusty old clothes anyway. <laughs> I like my clothes. So let's get going. I like my clothes. They look good in high definition and the and the the the, uh, the weird gravity confetti stuff. So yeah, I think I take double damage as Wolf Link as well. Is that a thing? I can't remember if it is. I'm going to sniff a sword. That's the wrong button. I'm gonna kind of sniff a sniff a sword. Sniff the sword. Sniff the. There we go. Okay, this is an interesting mechanic and. I guess if you're going to use the ability of being a wolf to its fullest extent, then you do uh, give it a scent. I don't like the bugs. Look at the bugs in the background. They look weird. That's definitely more than just me. Learn the youth's scent. I smell of youth. It smells of lynx and something like that. See, isn't being a wolf, wolf more convenient? Kind of. Now you X to hone your senses, you you become to you become to reawaken as a wolf, I think. <laughs> oh, I'm a wolf now. That's the wrong button. There we go. So now we can now as a trail, like a uh, a checkpoint, not checkpoint, but a a waypoint. Uh, oh god, there's these things as well. Oh god, these things do loads of damage. Hang on, hang on. I need to need to take this one at a time, one at a time. Well, not really one at a time. I can't do it one at a time. That would be crazy. But I need to, I need to kill one of these nice and quick. Oh, it's very scary. It's very scary. I'm absolutely terrified of hurting anything. I really am. Okay, this should be this should be much easier now because I can just do one of these. There we go. Take that, you dreadlocked motherfuckers. Okay, I'm terrified. I'm terrified in like this wonderful nervous energy kind of way, where if I take damage, my life is way more awkward than it would otherwise be. Why is there no bridge? What's this? That's strange. The bridge is gone. I can, mm, I can, I can. I wonder if this is the work of the shadow creatures. Ah, oh, what a pain. Oh well, let's look for it. You, get your map out. Oh, it's talking to me. It's talking to me. Directly to me. Where's this bridge? The, uh, oh, don't, don't give me two tutorials. I know that. Uh, Whenever you destroy these creatures in the darkness, a portal opens that looks like this on the map. As we can see. You hear me? It's called a portal. You better remember that. It's gonna be on the test later. And in those woods we came through. Yes, it's gonna be around it. Right about there. Yeah. I'll use my I'll use my power to take you to the location of the open portal. Pick where, pick where you want to go. Oh, there's only gonna be one place where it is, and I know this very well where exactly it is. We're going to North Farron Woods. We're gonna rescue a bridge. We're getting a bridge back. And uh I think do we get the warp now? Because we can now warp to areas. This is how we warp to areas. The actual presence of the shadow beast is actually quite a good thing in a weird roundabout way. See, I told you, we're here. Oh, yes, yeah, welcome back to Farron. It's why am I still a wolf? You know, most people can't leave that tw leave the twilight that easily. You'd better be grateful. It's, it's all it's all her, I'm sure. It's your job to look for the bridge. Look hard. I don't have to look that hard. It's quite obvious, you know. <laughs> oh God. Well, it's perfect, don't you think? What do you think? Should we take it? You might as well. Just walk back. It's not going to be anything else, is it? I mean, come on. So this this happens a few times. Where we are missing something, and we must go find it in an earlier area. And, uh, you know, just warp it back like this. It's magic power. It's pretty, pretty impressive power. A little bit weird. Always, it looks like it's on string. 
kind of looks like magic power, but yeah, okay. That, that's fine. Do we get the warp now? Because I don't see any reason why we would. Because we're just- why, there's nowhere we can really warp to is what I'm getting at. I have no idea. Won't worry about it. What I was going to say, should I have the Ganondorf amiibo, the quad damage for the whole game? Like, maybe just dungeons, maybe just bosses, maybe just- I don't know, a couple of episodes every... I don't know. How, how often do you want me to use the crazy ridiculous damage? I kind of want to use it all the time, because I like that idea. It resonates well with me now. We haven't died yet, so there's a bonus, but yeah, I, I can see the bridge, it's nice. See, just as I thought. <laughs> so, isn't the power of Twilight amazing? Call me if you need the power again. It should help you find what you're looking for, don't you think? Alright, let's keep going. Oh, it's an amazing power. We have built bridges today. We are we are um, uh, fixing holes in the community. I, I can't really. Why isn't there a finishing move for for a wolf? Why can't we just ravage these these enemies? There's no finish move. I can't kill them when they're down. That seems like something that a wolf would be quite good at, as in taking advantage of the fact that an enemy is on the floor. I can't get through here. Oh no, the gate is locked. Who would do such a thing? Oh no. Huh? Yes. Yeah, big big problem. What are they doing there? Probably guarding it. This is a pretty elaborate gate. What are they trying to keep in or out? Hmm, seem curious. I better be worth our while to dig in. Absolutely. I'm gonna dig in and kill some archer. Are these called shadow shadow bokoblins? What are they? Have they got a name? I don't want to take any damage from these guys, even though I I feel like eventually it might be inevitable. These guys haven't got archer bow things, so I'm not sure why I thought they did. They have got on their backs though. You haven't got an arrow, a bow, the words, jargon, haven't got a bow to use the arrows, you just got a big club. Arrows are more of a problem, they show up later in the game, and with tr quadruple damage, that is terrifying, in many ways. Shadow Beasts. So Shadow Beasts basically give us a warp point, it's very simple, but still terrifying. I imagine they would kill me in one shot, welcome to Kakariko Village, or Kakariko, what did I used to call it? I have no idea, but I feel like I may have been wrong, or whatever. I'm always wrong! This is the internet, you can never be right, okay. I, I feel like they would kill me in one shot. I feel like they would. I feel like they should. Not that they should, but I feel like because I got myself into these circumstances, they would regardless. Can I get both of them? Yes, I can! Right on the edges of our weird spin attack move. Oh, I've got an itchy eye, I'm not sure. Maybe because there's a finger in it, rubbing away furiously. To try and fix the itchiness of the eye. Ah, oh, no, it's another light spirit. I get to bring out my other voice. To the hero who was transformed into a blue eyed beast in the realm of shadows in twilight. It's very slow moving text. I kind of like it though. This way. Very slow moving text, but I do quite like it. They are just a, just a, a wispy essence of a spirit. It's kind of cool in a way. I am a spirit of light. Absolutely. Hero chosen by the gods. Look for my light. Gather the light stolen by the shadows into this. Oh yeah, the vessel of- I was- I was- I don't know, I was expecting to say something else, not give me the vessel of light, which I inevitably have to use. You can see where we're going with this. It goes round and round and round and round. The insects of darkness. They are the form taken by the evil that attached itself to my scattered light. Yes! In the shadowy twilight, the shadow's insects are invisible, much as the people from your light world are. <laughs> I can't. Oh, it's a very hard voice to do. With the last of my power, let me mark your map with the locations of the tears that have turned into shadow insects. <laughs> <laughs> but be careful, the darkness now hunts you. I was born in the darkness. No, no, I don't, I don't, I no, 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 we did this before, I know. We gotta collect some funky little bugs again. You can, it just, I wouldn't say it's repetitive, because it's inevitable that we would have to do this. Can we just get in through here? I think we can't, can't we get, we can get, it's an open window, please. We can get through here, or we can listen at least. Cripes! How the heck am I supposed to babysit someone else's little brats when I'm ought to be saving myself? It's that guy. 
You really don't know that guy. Yeah, I do, because I've played this game before. I know. I would like to do one of these. One of one of the one of these. There we go. We're going in up here. You don't need to tell me that I can, because I I kind of want to do that anyway. We just fought. Yeah, we do. Okay, fantastic. I like that voice. That that. Oh, I'm such in major pain. It's all oh, camera. Hello. So if we go in here, there we go. But that was easy. <laughs> much easier. Much easier. This game. Just random. Is the character in the middle? Because I forget. Are they? Are, are they? Uh, are they male or female? I forget. Cripes! I don't. I, I don't see those black brutes anywhere. You're gonna have this kind of voice. I feel. They're gonna be hiding. Hiding somewhere, waiting for their helpless little prey to come out. Then they'll feast. Absolutely. It's not. A, not a good set of circumstances. We are safe as long as we remain in here, child. Be at ease. I think he's a guy. Long hair, but a guy. Oh yeah, I wonder if the monsters out there agree with you. Gotta look at the- you look absolutely terrifying as well. They sure didn't seem impressed by my bombs. How long do you think we can hold this sanctuary against beasts that's strong, huh? He's got a- he looks terrifying. Once they attack, it's over! Oh, the music. I love the music. Remember the lady from the general store? Just one of those things attacked her and the whole gang from town went to save her. Oh, you look terrifying, little baby boy. And what ma and what happened? She was already gone, and there were two monsters waiting. Horror music, it's brilliant. Love it. You connecting the dots? That means if we get attacked by them, then we'll be killed in horrible bonds. Think he's a guy. Hoping he's a guy. Otherwise, we're in trouble. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're in trouble anyway. But I don't. Know, it's, people, you're clearly a guy. I could tell. I think. Oh, he's scared. Everybody's scared. We all fucked. We all totally fucked by giant shadow beasts. Uh, yeah, that's, that's, that's the- Look, look, Renato! All I mean to say is that it's risky here, too! Uh, ain't you got some place we can hide? This is basically all we got. I think you're a guy. There- there is a cellar. You're more of a manly super voice. And you're very terrifying. What? You got a cellar? Where's the entrance man? Must be a man, otherwise that'd be confusing. The entrance to the cellar is designed to open when all of the candles have been lit. Which you won't do yet. Oh, he's keen. I- I- I would not do that. Falling on the ground. Who is that? It's that one! Okay! Didn't know who was talking! When father instructed me to secure the cellar, I saw insects like the beasts outside. Yep. Terrifying. We are so fucked. Don't cry, Beth. It'll be okay. No, it won't. No one's coming to save it. No one's coming to save you. Jackus is coming to save us all. Oh, you better hope so. It's a very dire circumstance. If you remember that guy? What, what happened to that guy? He was friend. I like that guy. He's funny. Bit weird. Looks terrifying in HD, though. I can feel it. I mean, most people just look more like what they were originally, and he looked terrifying anyway. So he now looks more terrifying. HD wasn't kind to everybody in this game. How are we doing for time? Not sure. Not not brilliant, I must say. These kids knew you'd come to save them. What a hero. How sad. To be right in front of them and not to be noticed at all. <laughs> you, are, you are chosen by the gods, and only that keeps you from turning into a spirit, or worse, into a dark monster when you enter Twilight. And no one knows what you have done. You may be doomed to toil in obscurity forever. You're the type to worry about everything, I can tell. But don't forget about Princess Zelda. She chose this state of affairs after all. Anyway, what's with having some light candles to get into the basement? Not very subtle, is it? Not very subtle at all. We may be scary. So, what are you going to do, my lonely little hero? <laughs> Oh, I'm a lonely little, lonely little wolf man. We, where did it go? Is it here? Yes, fantastic. I, we can get both, both sides lit. It's not a fire hazard yet. We actually look like a circus act in a way. Have we got to be quick with this or just like quick enough with, no, got to be quick enough with this. I'm trying not to, try to get to jump. There we go. Sort of jump near the wall more. There we go. Fantastic. Oh yeah. Why is it moving on its own? Magic fire! Maybe the heat. Can we say the heat? I just love how you throw it away like that. Uh, I think we just go down here. Pretty sure. Because there's- there's- there's shadow insects or twilight insects. Do we get an official name on that yet? I'm not sure, but we're gonna kill them right now. Right now. Oh, gonna burp. Mmm, mmm, gonna do it. Mmm, eventually. Mmm. Oh. oh, that wasn't a very good burp. That was a very wimpy burp. I apologize for that. We can do things down here. Take note of this. This is important for later, but much, 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 much later, because it's something this game likes to do in the in the end of the tw end of the game. More things to concern yourself with later in the game when we come back to locations. It's something the game likes to do. Out we go. We haven't died. I may end the episode off here. We didn't die. That's fantastic. I like that. We are going to continue our hunt for the twilight insects in the graveyard. I may kill these bats here right now because I don't want to pause and then have them kill me later because bats are terrifying bats especially shadow bats 
looks absolutely terrifying. Really are. But anyway, this has been Rabbit Luigi. This has been Let's Play Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess HD. And in the next episode, we are going to uh, explore Kakariko Village a little bit more and kill some more Shadow Beasts and hopefully return this place to its former glory, which I'm sure is fairly glorious. The sign over here is broken. I'm sure that's not a bad omen or anything. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.